Hello, miss. Uh, yes. Hello. Miss Soleil, am I right? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, no need to be formal. Call me Rick. Uh, all right. Rick. And what would you like to be called, sweetheart? Miss Soleil will be fine. Huh. All right, then. Oh, no thank you. You don't smoke? No. Really? Why, if you don't mind my asking? I just don't like it. It's not healthy. So, you're saying I'm unhealthy? Oh no, I don't mean it like that. Just for me, it's wrong. Okay. So you don't like doing wrong things? Well, I guess you could put it that way. I see. That's interesting. Considering the reason why you're here, what do you do for a living, Miss Soleil? I'm a teacher at the elementary school. Oh, that's nice. Any grade in particular? I teach three to five. I see. And I imagine that there's a certain code of conduct that you have to follow. You would be correct, sir. Have I done something wrong? Of course. Your actions earlier today were very inappropriate. I... I don't know what you mean. Oh, come now. I was just doing my job. Oh, really? It's your job to corrupt the youth? No. It's my job to teach them. Risking their innocence? Their lives? No. They... they deserved it. I was saving them! Oh, that's rich. The best one I've heard. And what were you saving them from exactly, Miss Soleil? Ha! Are you married, Miss Soleil? I don't see why I would have to answer that. Oh, but you just did. Right there. See, a single woman would state the fact freely because she has nothing to hide. Not telling me proves the opposite. So what does your husband do for a living? Repairman? Banker? Perhaps another teacher? I don't think you need to know that. Listen, there's no point in beating around the bush. Because I have this. That's... Yes, it's your file. And oh look, it would seem that this isn't your first indiscretion. Stint in juvie during high school, an arrest at your college, my, my, quite the repeat offender you are. And you know, this one could be what locks you up for good. Because we don't like sick people harming children. But if you confess now, they might go easy on you. You're lying. Not at all. I've seen it before. Just say that you did it, and your sentence will be lighter. Fun, even. You could end up breaking bricks by the sea penitentiary. What great exercise. You can't fool me. I'm not saying it. I've dealt with hundreds, no, thousands of your kind. And you know what? They've all cracked in the end. Doesn't matter if it was during the meeting, first arrest, even all the way down the road at their trial. They all realize the error of their ways and recant their defense. And you'll be no different. Know why? Because I'm that good. And the good guys always win. You're no good guy. You're not even a man. And what gives you the right to make that judgment? Because a real man behaves with honor. And from the looks of it, I don't think you have any. Listen, you little bitch. You're going to confess. Right here and now. Because otherwise, I'll have no choice. Please. You know, Stop. your actions don't justify you. I mean, think of your husband. How's he going to look as a lawyer? with his wife in prison. I didn't mean any harm. Please forgive me. It's not apologies that we want, Miss Soleil. But I... Just admit it and I'll let go. No! But you're wrong. Say it now. No! Never! Why are you being so stubborn? Look. Look! Don't you see how the ground looks? Yes. So how could you possibly believe that the world is round? It is clearly flat. What are you trying to do? Inspire those children to walk off the face of the earth by exploring? You sicken me. I hope they give you the death penalty. No, I... You're right. 
I was mistaken. I did it, but I was wrong. I confess.